I'm back. All right, we have one more section to do. For those of you who have joined in out of order or just curious about what's going on here, I am Chris Ann, Christmas coach and founder of Christmas Organizing. And I have written a book called Christmas Planning 101. And this is your first step to planning your Christmas. And this book is like a brain dump. Um, it, just a place to get your ideas that you wanna do for Christmas out of your head and onto a piece of paper so that then we can utilize the Christmas Organizing Planner and dive deeper into the different sections and really um, plan out some things a little more in depth if you need to or want to. I definitely need it. So what this little video series here is, is you're just on a journey with me. <laughs> and as I fill out my personal book, um, we have, there are three other videos where I cover the other sections in the book and we are down to the last section and it is called Home and Away at Christmas. And we are going to go over activities and those are activities at home, things that you do at the house, um, not entertaining, not like gr having big groups of people in or things like that. Just maybe you, your immediate family or a couple of people over, but not really something you would do for entertaining. Um, then we have entertaining at Christmas, whereas you were going to kind of plan out a party, have dates, all of that stuff. Then we have um, Christmas decorating, decorating your house. See, I've already started some. Um, then we have Christmas events, and those are things that you do outside of your house, whether it's going to a uh, Christmas party at work or you're going to um, a dinner at church or a singing at church or a live nativity, whatever it is, an event that's outside of your house. And then we have Christmas cleaning and Christmas travel. So the cleaning is all about um, just getting your house ready for Christmas. And then what are the things that you wanna do during the month of December to maintain things? Um, and then traveling, oh, you know, Traveling at Christmas, whether you're going down the street or you're going hundreds of miles away, let's talk about it. All right, so as I said, you're just on this journey with me. You'll see me have my head down some, and um, that's when I am writing, and I will talk you through what I'm writing about. Um, one of the things I will tell you or ask of you as a favor, if you are not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the Christmas organizing community more than you will ever know. And if you want to be notified of the videos when we put out new videos, hit that notification bell. Now, if you're already a subscriber or don't choose to be a subscriber, but like this video, please give me a thumbs up on the video and share it if you know people that would enjoy watching me also. So, all right, Christmas activities at home wish list. So this is a page that um, I have on here, must do activities, some new ideas, activities with the family, and then there's a place for some notes. So must do activities. I want to go to Christmas Eve. Oh no, those are at home. Oh, my brain, I jumped ahead to events, I'm sorry. Um, activities at home. Well, Christmas Eve dinner. Okay. And what else do I have? I want to have a baking day and I want to have Advent Sundays dinner, Advent Sunday dinners. And I would like to have a game night and a movie night. So those are some of my must-do things. Some new ideas. Um, I'll have to check back in my Pinterest thing. I don't have anything to write down right now off the top of my head, but we'll come back with that. Um, activities with family, and that's not necessarily the ones I, uh, my must-do activities, some of those are ones I do with my family. Um, but I would like to, let's see, I'm gonna put baking day down there. And how about a wrapping, wrapping presents day? If I haven't already got them all done. <laughs> so um, maybe I'll invite some people or invite my, my children or my daughter, my daughter-in-law and my mother-in-law to come and help me wrap gifts. Not for their own gifts, but maybe for each other's gifts at different times. All right. 
Next page is Christmas Activities at Home Interview. So this is like with the um, Favorite Foods Interview. You're gonna write down the name of the people and you're gonna write down their favorite things. So I have Ashlyn and I have Aaron and I have Ashley, my husband, and I have Jeanette, my mother-in-law, and I have Destiny, who's my daughter-in-law. So those are the five people that I'm going to put down. You know what? I'm going to put me down too. I just thought about that. So I can list it out. So if they peek in this book or something, they might be able to see some things that I like to do. All right. I already, I will tell you, because well, if you've been doing this with me for several years, you will know this is kind of one of those things that we do every year. Well, most people's things don't change. So I do already have everybody's but my list um, of their uh, favorite activities in my Christmas organizing notebook, which we will talk about that later on because I'll be doing a video on that later today. Um, and some of the things that hang over from year to year you want to put in there. All right, next thing is entertaining. Um, I really don't do any entertaining at Christmas, uh, believe it or not, um, except for immediate family. So that one right now, I just do not have anything to put down for. Um, I just don't. So we're gonna skip over that. There's pages here though to put your, um, to put the party, to put your theme, the date, the time, location. Favor ideas, um, are you going to be doing exchanges, quick little area for menu, um, and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, room for six different parties in there. All right, decorating for Christmas. So I have this divided out into areas, and so you can have your, write in your theme in the area. So I'm going to put down uh, fireplace. And my theme for my fireplace this year, because it's already done, is um, glass. It, it, it's glass and garland. Um, I do have my um, stocking, the stocking holders on there and the stockings hanging on there. Um, but I changed up what I did across the top. And I have several pieces of Blinko glass and I have some Longenberger um pieces or a longer burger piece and I have um one two three Blinko glass pieces as y'all have heard me say I'm from West Virginia and Blinko is made in West Virginia and I go to the Blinko store and buy second hands which means it has little bubbles in it that they can't sell as first runs and if you ever look at my stuff you'd have no idea um, cause some of them, it's really hard to find the bubbles. They're there, but you know, I think it adds to the uniqueness of it. Anyway, I have used new garland with lights. So green garland, and then I have the different, uh, pieces of glass up there. I will take a picture later on and show y'all. So, okay. And then area, let's see the main bathroom. So that's the bathroom that guests would use and everything. My theme in there is Disney already because it is a Disney bathroom. And um, we have Disney lithographs from our cruises and from Disney World and stuff up on the wall. So we, and the walls are painted red and the mirror is a Mickey Mouse head. So, um, and the tiles were already black and white because we live in a historic house. So it just works really well with, with Disney. So I put a tree up on the uh, sink on the vanity and a small tree, like a three foot tree. And, um, and then I decorate it with all my Disney ornaments. So um, there's that. Then I have the, um, this tree behind me, we're going to call it um, the area. We're going to call it the, um, I don't know. It's in the living room, but it's to the side. My living room's really weird, y'all. It's a, ugh, it's just weird. And um, yeah, so we're just gonna call it porch side living room. And that is, <laughs> um, 
literally behind that curtain right there, there's a door that goes out to the side porch, not the front porch, the side porch. And so this area here and then over here is a big entrance into my dining room. And then over there is the living room and over there is the mantle and the front door is there. Uh, you know, it's just a weird room, but I, but it gives me lots of places to decorate. Um, and so the theme is going to be um, my train and um, train and home. Uh, uh, oh, what am I trying to say? My kids, um, just family, family tree. Okay. Date to decorate, not sure yet. I really don't need any items. Well, I need the train from the attic. So even though it says needed items, if it's things that you need to pull down to put in that specific space, um, you can, the, the train is up in the attic and I'm not going up there right now because there's a squirrel up there and we're still trying to get rid of the squirrel. And I can hear the little squirrel running around and I don't like squirrels running around in my house. And that's where that part of my Christmas stuff is. So I ain't going to get any. Um, I will send somebody up there. All right, area, I decorate the top of my piano. So top of piano. And then I have an area of the kitchen. So the top of my area, the uh, top of the piano, the theme is remembrance. And that's where I do my remembrance tree. And I'm going to come back in later and put in the dates to decorate because my brain's just not to that yet. I need to have my calendar out and stuff. Um, kitchen theme is gingerbread. Mint, gingerbread. And then we have a, we have living room area two. Number two, living room area number two. So still in the living room, but over in that other corner, opposite of this corner, and that theme is my red and white. So I have a red and white tree that I put up there. Our master bedroom or the main bedroom, my bedroom, whatever. Um, its theme is blue and white. I have a little tree that I have and I put all my um, Holland, my Holland, either they came from Holland or they're Holland inspired. I've purchased them here, um, ornaments on it. So, um, I have a couple of other areas or theming things that I do, but I don't know exactly where I'm going to put those. So I haven't, um, decided how that's going to work yet, where I'm going to put it. All right. So now we have the list for Christmas decorations to purchase. I only had one thing on my list for this year for decorations to purchase. And I'm going to put it on here and it is going to say garland for mantle. That was the only thing that I truly needed. Now I did buy something else, but that's the only thing I absolutely needed. And I'll put a check mark there because I have purchased it. All right, next we have Christmas events wish list. Now this is where, um, again, it's just like the activities, <clears throat> except it's for events outside of your house. So this is where I put down Christmas Eve service um, and Chickasaw Lights. That's a state park that they do luminaries all through the park. It's really beautiful. Um, let's see. Um, those are my two, uh, my, and the drive through nativity at church. Um, so my church related events is live nativity and Christmas Eve service and communion so 5 30 family events again we don't really have anything um we don't have family here that at least that we get invited to anything for um so community events i have my fce christmas um party And I have the 4-H Christmas party. Oh, and I have, I belong to something called The Co, which is a co-working space. And we usually have a Christmas party there. 
So co-party. That's really fun because, um, not last year, of course, because nobody was doing anything, but the year before, um, we had a, a costume contest for Christmas and I have this, um, um, sand, uh, hat that's a Christmas tree. It stands up like a Christmas tree. And then I had a Christmas tree skirt that I put around me, around my shoulders, like a shawl. So I had the Christmas tree and then I got, I got lights out and put them around the tree, like battery powered lights. And then I had the Christmas tree skirt and then I took presents and wrapped up little presents and put them all over the, um, the Christmas tree skirt. And then I had glasses like is in my um, crazy Christmas journey that have the little Christmas trees on them. I actually have glasses like that and they're so much fun. And I won first place. It was so cool. Um, so I had a fun time with that. So if we do that again, I got to come up with a, um, if they have a costume contest, I got to come up with a new type of uh, Christmas costume. All right, so um, again, you have the Christmas events interview, just like we had for activities and for food. So I'm gonna skip over that because I already have those. Um, Christmas event list, and this is make a list of all the events that you will be attending. The other was just your wish list. So you can write down um, on here. So I know I have Christmas Eve service. And that is 12:24 at 5:30, and there's little boxes next to these again. So when you put them on your calendar, you can mark it off. And you know, really, this book is meant to be started earlier in the year, um, so that you can, you know, use it multiple times to jot stuff down. But as I've said, this year's been crazy um, with my shingles and other things that have happened. It, I, I just, it is what it is. Um, so it is what it is. And I'm working on the book now. Better late than never. Um, so all you procrastinators, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but next year we will start in January on this book. And um, all right. So... Um, so yeah, so put down all the events that you know that you'll be going to and the date and the time if you already have it and the place. All right, that brings us to Christmas cleaning. Yay. All right, so the Christmas cleaning part um, is um, just different areas of your room and where you need to clean and your cleaning dates. I'm going to have to go back to that one later. Um, and then your travel. I don't have any trips this year. Not planning on traveling for Christmas, so I don't have anything to put in there. But there is places to um, put down your holiday trips, local trips, Christmas vacation, long distance trips, items to travel with at Christmas. You want to take a little tree, you want to take some lights up, etc. Um, and then your travel dates down. So that brings us to the end of the book. Yay! So next is to create our notebook and then we will get started on the actual planning pages and dive deeper into the planning. All right, I will catch you all on the next one. Thanks, everybody. See you later.